Well, I just had my first shower without any hair and it felt amazing. <laughs> it felt really good. I've never felt so clean before, so that was an experience. <sighs> yeah, first shower. So, anyways, just thought I would share this with you. Hi everybody, uh, so you can kind of see some splotches, oh, of course the gardeners are here. Uh, there's some splotches, oh I look so tired, we just got in from Indiana yesterday and so I am very tired but like I was saying we are experiencing some splotches, patches, you know, in my head and I do this and little hairs are just coming out and I'm just over all of that. So. We're gonna just go ahead and big this bad boy and really let this bald head shine. So, <laughs> I will be back. All right, got a little ladder going up right here now. I'm using my husband's stuff. I think it's really funny. Okay, look at that noggin, little dome. Never did I ever think I'd be shaving my head like this. <sighs> this is wacky, y'all. This is wacky to backy. <laughs> I'm gonna need him to do the rest, I think, because. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this all by myself. All by myself. This is so weird, y'all. Okay, I'll be back. Hi, everybody. I'm here with my awesome friend, Lauren. We've known each other since we were kids. High school. Oh, yes. Um, we are at the infusion center, and I'm about to go in for my second infusion. I'm rocking my new cap that my friend Abby Dandy got me. It's very nice and warm since I have no hair. <laughs> so, anyways, I will be back in a little bit. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are going for number two. Where is it? There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take a look on this arm if that's okay. Mm -hmm. if, if not, I think there's an option over here, but I want to look at all my options. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Hi, everybody. I am sitting down here, going to start my paint by numbers. This thing is ridiculous. Look at that. My mom is bringing my glasses. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. So I can see what I'm doing, but I got the light here so I can spread out and do what I need to do. This is going to test my patience, but I feel like coloring, so here we go. Good morning. It is like 8.30 in the morning on December 4th, and Joseph's still sleeping. He's probably gonna wake up soon because we're having a couple friends over for brunch and I can't wait to see them. I am feeling the itch to continue my paint by numbers, but I think I'm actually gonna go in the middle now. Uh, I was gonna go from the outside in, but I think I'm gonna do inside out for a little bit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get to it. Um, I'm feeling very good. The only thing I'm really feeling is my neck is pretty sore. Uh, I'm getting an adjustment tomorrow, so that'll be great. And uh, just having uh, some female pain issues. I won't get into detail on that. But uh, overall, I feel great. Um, I'm actually getting hungry, so I'm probably going to eat a little snacky snack while I'm painting and maybe drink some of my ginger, turmeric, and maple syrup tea. It's really yummy. So, 
yeah, we are almost a week away from my treatment, uh, my last treatment, and no nausea, no vomiting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not as tired as I was, you know, everything is, is chilling out. I still can't believe it. I don't know why or how I'm skimming through this so easily, but I almost don't want to question it because I don't want to jinx myself, but I am doing really well. So anyways, I will be back later. This says, my cat lets me live here. <laughs> Good afternoon. Ooh. I did not spill. Wow. Whew. Good afternoon. It is like one in the afternoon. Um, November or November, December. Alexa, what's the date today? December 3rd. Alexa, cancel. Um, <clears throat> so it's December 3rd and it's been, um, it's been... 29, 30, 1, 2, 3. It's been five days after my second round of chemo. You see I'm sporting my, my baldness. Um, I was just really, really tired um, the first three days. I'm still a little bit tired, but I noticed that there's an increase in my energy since Tuesday. So I just know like once I get chemo, I need to eat and go to sleep and just do the same. Eat, sleep. After I eat, boy. The, the fatigue just hits even harder. So I'm finally getting the hang of things. I know how to go about everything now. Um, I feel like I have it covered, so I'm very grateful for that. My mom was here. Um, I just released her. She's with um, other family members today because she lives in Washington. And so um, she hasn't seen anybody in a while, over a year, I think it's been actually. Um, so yeah, I'm just enjoying my coffee. I had a banana. I'm not really hungry, but I know I need to eat. So I went ahead and just scarfed down a banana. I'll probably make a greens and protein shake here in a little bit. Um, and my husband, Joseph, and I are just going to maybe kind of tidy up around the house and hang out. We want to go see, um, oh gosh, what is it called? It's the Christmas movie with Hopper in it. It's not Silent Night, it's like Deadly Night or something like that. I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but anything with that guy Hopper in it, I will watch because he's amazing. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a nice relaxing day and I'm, I'm glad to just not be sleeping because I, I hate not being able to do stuff that I want to do. I have been doing some painting and coloring, which has been therapeutic for me. So yeah doing good i i'm pretty used to my hair now when i look in the mirror i'm not like whoa um so that's good but i do need to shave one more time because i still have some roughness it's not completely smooth yet all right well i will check back later bye y'all here my amazing husband <laughs> my amazing husband just brought me lasagna and salad for lunch and I have a little boy oh I'm so shaky little boy hanging out with me he's just a baby oh my god I'm so shaky Oof, I'll have to record again later about to eat some lunch so as I was saying I'm about to eat some lunch and my sweet boy is with me I need to eat because I'm shaky and I'm also editing for YouTube so multitask at its finest. <laughs> Hi everybody. I uh, well, you can't see but my little kitty cat's stormy is over here. I'm in my living room and I feel like one of those because I have this dress on it's like um velvety but I feel like I'm one of those like 1940s actresses that were the the turbans with the long gowns that's what I feel like right now but I'm actually wearing this to the movie theater tonight we're gonna go see uh Violent Night with my guy Hopper from Stranger Things love him so much um 
So really excited to see that. We're probably gonna have dinner there. Um, and I have about an hour and a half. I did take a little nap, but my glasses are glaring. I did take a little nap, but um, I just kind of had energy after that. So I thought, well, what can I do? Well, my lovely best friend, Viviana, got me this paint by numbers <sighs> bit. Okay, so I was just noticing there's kind of some holes. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. Um, but yeah, I've gotten pretty far so far. And I just thought that I would just have y'all here with me and we can talk. As you know, I started on chemo and uh, I was very nervous about it. Still am nervous about it, but um, all in all, I have to say I'm doing really well. And I feel like people who are closest to me are doing pretty well with it too with the fact that I'm having to go through this. Um, it's been a very interesting journey so far. Um, I'm definitely looking and feeling a lot better than I thought I would. I really thought I was just going to be so miserable for so many days. And honestly, I'm just tired, like that's it. So I'm very, very grateful that I just have fatigue. So I know it's gotta be a combination of prayer, medicine, and just the simple fact that I am a really hard ASS. <laughs> You know, I'm a tough cookie. So I definitely am gonna pat myself there because you really need to be strong to go through this and you need to have somebody or some buddies next to you through this too because it's very hard, I can imagine, going through it alone. So, yeah, but um, I'm not finding any more ones. Uh, my husband and I, I feel like have gotten a lot closer because of all this, you know, he has his health issues and I have mine and if anything, I just feel like it brings us. Did y'all see that fly across? Whew. I don't know where it went, but I saw that. I would like to think that those are angels. But yeah, like I was seeing, um, I feel like it's brought us together. And um, we just had our fifth year anniversary, October 28th, which was really nice. And um, we went dancing and yeah, we just had a really lovely evening. Um, and then we just got back from Indiana. Um, it wasn't the, the, the most happiest of trips one of our family members is not doing so well and um so that's why we went out there but they're hanging in there and I'm really proud of them and admire them for their strength and courage so that's probably going to be the last real big thing we do for a while I'm trying to stay indoors more often. I know I just told you all I'm going to see a movie, um, but I am a little firecracker. I like to go out and do stuff all the time. And, oh, bless you, baby. And sometimes I really have to just relax. Stop what I'm doing, relax, because I'll just go, go, go. And it's not good for me. <sighs> so anyway, um, I think that's about it. I think I'm going to go into full concentration here because it's kind of hard to talk and, and do this. But um, 
I just wanted to have a little moment with us together and just let you know that I am doing really, really well. Uh, of course, I have my ups and downs just like anybody. But overall, I have to say that I'm faring really well. So, and I've made a couple, uh, I've made a couple new friends on Instagram with girls that have lost their leg just like me and are going through chemo just like me. And I just wanna say I love you ladies very much. And I'm so glad that we have one another that we can lean on each other and ask questions and give pointers and guidance and support. It's really a wonderful thing. So y'all definitely utilize the internet. I'm telling you, there are people out there just like you going through the same thing like you. And if you can pair up and build a, a relationship with them, that's awesome. So, all right, well, I probably, I may show my updates along the way with this, but this is what it, what it looks like now. So stay tuned. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye. Applesauce, come here. Come. You ready? You want some? He loves the bottle caps <laughs> filled with water. Every time I try to drink them out of my bottle of water, this little monster wants to drink out of the cap. What happened was I had him in my room for a long time one day and I figured, you know what, he's probably thirsty and I didn't want him to leave. Oh, you can see my little rainbows, where'd it go? And I didn't want him to leave my room with me. So um, I gave him some water in the bottle cap and now I've created a monster because he always wants to do it. <laughs> Applesauce, are you just a baby? Yeah. <laughs> well, I just got done making content, nails and makeup means I was actually doing something with my life. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be making some potato soup. Really excited about that. And I'm feeling great today. I'm feeling full of energy. I'm happy. Last night I was really grumpy grouchy for some reason. I don't even know why I was just really crabby, but uh, not today. I feel great and I thank God for that. And so yeah, just really super stoked. I got some content done today because I have been behind. So anyways, I just thought I'd pop on here, say hello. But you all know I'm doing well, and thank you for checking in on me. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make some bomb potato soup now. <laughs> Bye.